Hello everyone, Ivy here with Ivy B Creates. Today's stitch tutorial is called the Elizabeth Stitch. I had not heard it, but when I first saw it, it's like, that's no different than the bean stitch, so I'm going to give it a try. This is what it looks like. It is very um, thick when you're using, I think this is Craft Secret cotton yarn. It's a little thicker than the rest of them. It has some um, stretch to it on one side and very tight on the other. It is a pretty stitch too. I could think of cowls, uh, cardigans. I could think of a lot of stuff that you could use this stitch for. But all in all, I think it's a good um, stitch. So I'm going to show you the stitch pattern itself and you can create this beautiful washcloth yourself. So what we're going to need is a 6 millimeter J10 and some cotton yarn. So grab your stuff and let's go. Okay, to work this Elizabeth stitch, it is done in multiples of two. And then we're going to add four. So I'm going to do 10. And then I'm going to add four more. So my first row I'm going to do um, loosely. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're going to add four more. One, two, three, four. All right, we're going to start to stitch right away in the fourth chain from the hook. The loop on our hook does not count as a chain. Our chain begins right there. So we're going to go one, two, three, and there's number four. We're going to go into that chain. We're going to draw up a loop. We're going to yarn over. We go right back down into that same chain that we just did a, a pull up. Now we have four loops on our hook. We're going to draw through, I mean yarn over, and pull through all four. We're going to finish this by doing a chain. Let's do that again. We're going to skip this chain. We're going to go into this chain, the very next chain. Go through the chain. Draw up a loop. You have two loops on your hook. Yarn over is three loops on your hook. Go right back down into that same stitch draw up a loop and pull through. Now you have four loops on your hook. We're going to yarn over and go through all four. Finish that stitch by doing a chain. We're going to skip one, go into the next chain, draw up a loop, pull through, yarn over, go back down in the same chain, Draw up a loop, pull through, yarn over, and go through all four. Let's do that all the way down this chain. Chain. Skip one, go into the next one, draw up a loop, pull through, yarn over, Go back down into that same stitch, pull through, yarn over, and go through all four. Chain one, skip one, and then the last stitch, we're going to go through the chain, draw up a loop, pull through, yarn over, go back down into that same stitch, pull through, yarn over, and go through all four. Okay, 
that's what it looks like so far. We're going to turn our work away from us and we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. And I'm going to show you an easy way of figuring out where you need to put it because we're going to be working into the chain one spaces. So as you can see right here, on each one of these, there is a bar that goes down. To me, that indicates an arrow go down, and that's where we're going to put our hook. The next one, right there, we'll put the hook right there. So let's just do the first one so you can see. So the bar is going down. So we're going to go into that. We're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, go back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over and go through all four. We finish the stitch by doing a chain, and we go into the next one. We look for that bar that's going down right there. We're going to go right where it's indicating. It's like an arrow. Draw up a loop, pull through, yarn over, go back down the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, four loops on our hook, yarn over and go through all four. We will finish it by putting a chain there. There's the bar right there. So we're going to go into that, pick up a loop, yarn over, go back down, pick up a loop, pull through, yarn over, and go through all four. And basically, that is it. So I'm going to do this, finish this row, and then start out on the third row to show you what it looks like after three rows. We go down here in this last one, draw up a loop, yarn over, go back down, yarn over, pull through, We've got four loops on our hook, yarn over, and go through all four. So that's what it looks like so far. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to chain, we're going to turn away, chain three, one, two, three. And remember, look for that bar that shows where it's going. Go into there, draw up a loop, pull up, yarn over, go right back down into the same stitch. Draw up a loop, pull up, yarn over, and go through all four. Finish the stitch with a chain, and we will move on. Looking for that bar right there. Go into it, draw up a loop, pull up, yarn over, go back down into that same stitch, pull up, and go through all four. And that's basically all there is to this stitch. Do a chain. Go through. Do a chain. Go into the next one. Draw up a loop. Yarn over. Go into the stitch. Pull through all four. Chain one. And into the the very last one, you'll have your chain there and you will have this space here. Look for that bar, which is going to be kind of hard to see because it's a chain. Go through, yarn over, go back down through it, pull up, yarn over, and go through all four. Okay? And it is a good idea to count your stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, here's what it, your pattern is going to look like. These go this way, the next row goes this way, the next row goes this way. 
Let's see if I can pull it apart, if you can see it. Down there. So that's all there is to the Elizabeth stitch. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Give it a try. Make your own washcloth or some uh, uh, project using this stitch. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment and please give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Thank you.